My name is Zach Lewis. I'm 15. I'm a sophomore in high school and I've been volunteering at the Greenberg Nature Center for almost two years. Some of the things that we do the most are basic animal care. So in the mornings we come in, we clean out all of the animal cages. So chinchillas have really dense fur so they can't really get it wet and then it'll get all clumpy. So instead of taking water baths, they roll around in volcanic dust and ash and we feed and we give water and we open the barnyard and in the afternoon we feed and change the water of the birds of prey. I also help to maintain the barn compost that's up at the barn um, where we put all of the waste from the animal museum. So each animal that is at the nature center came here for a reason. They all have their own stories as to why they're here. They're all rescues. So our bald eagle mare hoot was hit by a Mack truck and they fixed her up, but she is never gonna fly again, so she has to stay here um, because she couldn't otherwise survive in the wild. So one of the things we do here with our animals at the Nature Center is called enrichment, and basically what it is is we do different types of activities and we put different things in their cages to promote natural behaviors. So different things we might do are like taking the ferret out for a walk or blowing bubbles for some of the animals like the chinchillas or we take the tortoises outside to graze on some grass. Forest Ninjas are the volunteers who receive special training to take groups of visitors onto our trails, into our woodland trails, um, to teach them about different native areas that we have. And definitely my favorite part is um, going down to the pond. I really like talking about the pond. What I think makes the Nature Center so special is just kind of how hands-on it is and how interactive everything is here. This one time I had this mom come in with her daughter who the mom said had a phobia of lizards. And she did have a pretty big fear of lizards. I mean, I took out a small little gecko and she charged it off screaming. Um, but like eventually I got, I got her to come sit down and just talk about it and she came back like a week later and she, this time she touched it and she wants to come see that specific lizard every time she comes and visits. I've definitely made some pretty good friends here. We're all, we're all into the same stuff but we all have our own personalities and different things that we bring to the table and it's a lot of fun. While working here I definitely think I've changed. It's been almost two years and I've learned how to communicate better, more confident in myself, and I've learned a ton about what I want to do when I'm older. I definitely want to do something involving animals, and I'm leaning towards a veterinarian, but it's not set in stone yet.